That's the place, huh? Look at it. All from shit, I see what you mean. I don't even live here, and that place over there is pulling my testicles up. I mean, literally, they're actually coming up. What in the shit is this? What is it? With this device, I can place that horse on top of any object. You're like a specially trained super agent, you know that? Why do you think I called you? I was so pissed off, I nearly climbed back into your house and smashed some plates. I just want to hang out. No big deal. What's up, everybody? And welcome back to another Yo 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 Toy Review. I'm your host, Johan Fender Schmelt. And today we'll be looking at the Mezco's 112 Collective. Dude. All right, let's take a look at this package. We got a G.I. Joe logo, original card artwork, 112 Collective. On this side of the package, name, logo, logo. On the other side of the box, name, logo, logo. Top of the box, logo. On the back of the package, we got a look at Duke and all included accessories. On the bottom of the box, you got your legal shit and your barcode. All right, let's get this out of the package. Pop. All right, and this is Mezco, baby, so we're gonna take the pullout game nice and slow and respectable. Oh shit, stuff fell out. I'd normally give you the quick look, but I am just gonna give you the overhead on the whole package. We got the overhead going on, but we had some instructions in there. We got the Mezco take care of it, you break it, you bought it notice. We also have the instructions, and I will keep them on the screen for a minute, because if you ever lose one, this will be a good archive. All right, my favorite part of the ritual. Let's pop this sucker open. Oh, and let's take a quick look. Ooh, we got helmets, we got canteens, all kinds of assorted hands, some heads. On the middle tray, we have all of his weapons. So let's just take a quick look at all of that. Ooh. And now on to this side of the tray, we get all kinds of fun goodies and we will go over all of the shit in a second. And our final tray, we get that amazing stand. We get our parts bag from Mezco, which I always love. And we get our Joe stand. All right. We're back, so let's take a look at this figure. All right, gang, and you know me, I go right for the head sculpt. And I gotta tell you, I'm liking this. It looks so bad in the promo pictures, but in hand, it looks pretty good. I mean, it's fucking Duke from G.I. Joe. He's just some plain Jane dude, you know what I mean? He's just a rugged guy. So I like everything that's going on here. I wish he just had a little bit more paint in the face, maybe. Bring some stuff out but all in all the hair looks really good the paint job on the fade is all there i mean he has no fucking neck but i'm sure once we set the soft goods it'll look a little better and here we go we're gonna take a look at the other head sculpt and i normally don't jump ahead like this but we have a lot to go over so let's take a look everything looks dialed in right sculpting paint the shit-eating grin it's all there he's got the fucking butt chin like spartacus and yeah yeah, just all the way around man these head sculpts are actually looking pretty good and here we got the pissed off head sculpt and i love this this came out great as well look at the mouth eyes are all dialed in sculpts all there so and these heads were the biggest concern with this figure so i am relieved all right so we moved down to the boots next and i like them they're sculpted really good the paint's always there but i gotta say the top of the boot and the bottom of the boot are a different color which it's not too bad from far away like it totally works but up close i think it might be a little bit off boots move back and forth up and down real good we got a nice boot cut there so articulation there and now we're on to the pants and they're not looking too bad no bobo-ness as far as i can tell maybe a little bit especially in 
the ass department. He is like all Bobo back there. You gotta really set the belt up and stuff. But he does need room to articulate, so I do understand it. All the stitching looks good. The little cargo pockets are good. He does get a lot of range in these pants, and that's why I'm saying they gotta leave a little bit of extra room for them to move. Looks like he's double jointed, and you get a lot of range with the pants, so I can't say nothing about him. Now, up at the waist, we get this really fucking highly detailed belt. Look at all those pouches with all that fucking paint and detail in there. That is beautiful. Over here on the side, we got a little magazine, back pouch. This does come off, like the instructions say this does come off, so we'll try that later. We got grenade holders over there, and just down and around, it's not too bad, I like it. Now, up to the chest, this is what gets me. This whole fucking rigged up weird thing kinda isn't all that needed, so I think I'm probably gonna take it off mine. It kinda just floats and doesn't connect to the belt or connect down here. It's kind of oddball to me, but it does look like it comes off very easily. These clips always work. We got a little pouch there. We got a nice buckle there. More clips that, you know, whatever it is, I'm not really interested in it. And back here, more clips, more clips. And yeah, I am probably gonna just take this off now so we can get a better look. Oh, and there we go. That looks a whole lot better. He looks way more like Duke now. So he's on your standard Mezco body. He will, you know, rotate, go back and forth. His arms do go up and down really good. He's double jointed. Everything is good. I like the shirt sewn really well. The only problem I have with this figure is he just looks like he has no neck. Here's the shirt from behind, but all in all, I think he looks better without the overlay on him. And here, just real quick, to demonstrate a point, Mezco went a little too crazy with that other harness. This harness is just off the retro carded Duke. It just looks so much better. I think they just went too fucking crazy with that shit. All right, now we're gonna go over accessories. And first up, we're gonna take a look at this tray right here. We get a pistol with its holster, extra magazine. We get a knife sheath with the knife. And he comes with an assortment of different grenades and I guess smoke gas. He's got a radio. Probably a silencer and another magazine. He also comes with this array of hands and I just don't want to really take them out because there are so many. And we will be taking a closer look at everything as I put the accessories on the figure. Here we have this awesome backpack. And at first I was like, oh, what is all this weird soft good shit on there? But it is elastic. So you can actually just store all over this thing. So you have this elastic here, you have it on the side, and you have it on the side over here. Down at the bottom here, he's got this rolled up sleeping bag. I am not going to be opening that or fucking with it, because I think it's just for show. But we have all this killer detail up and around the sides, little pockets, paint everywhere. And then over here, we just have the straps for him to put it on. And yes, at the top, this thing can be opened and you can store some stuff stuff inside and I think I just broke that. Well lucky me I didn't break it but be very careful opening and closing this. Next up we have his helmet and it is the same one that came with Roadblock. They just put little pads in there so it would fit on his head. Nice paint all over it. Like I said in my last video this just looks like a Star Wars Return of the Jedi Rebel Endor Troop guy. Over here we have a cantina. Beautiful details says G.I. Joe on there. You got nice paint. Got nice sculpting and everything. Look at that. Over here we got binoculars. And they're painted really good. Look at that golden red in there. That is so fucking dope. Up top we got green on green paint. And man they just kill it with these fucking accessories. Look at that shit. Here we have action shovel and this thing is fucking dope. Look at that. It opens and then it opens again friends. And yeah, I'll probably never use it, but it is 
cool as shit. Shovel's got the nice serrated edge there, nice black paint on the handle, and yeah, this is just cool. I really like this. It's a fun little idea to throw in. And here we have the I stepped in some shit, and yeah, it sticks onto the bottom of his foot. It's just supposed to be a mud sploosh, but to me right away, I was like, no way they made a I stepped in shit accessory. And damn it, my table filled up again. So over here, we have this giant fucking rocket launcher. This thing is really fucking nice. Beautifully sculpted, made out of really hard plastic. Magazine does come out. You can see the painted slug sitting in there. It is just a work of art. Ports back in, no problem. And yeah, just look at this fucking beauty. And it also comes with a snap-in bipod. And the instructions say that it fits on there, but I am a little skeptical, so I'm gonna try it and then I will show you. And I am an idiot. There is a track right there for it. So you just kind of line them up and slide it in there. And yeah, now the giant rocket launcher has its own bipod. It does operate back and forth. It is very cool. And here we have his medium machine gun. And this thing is just another beautifully painted weapon. It looks like it's been used a bunch. Magazine does come out. Has a little painted bullet in there. Two-tone color. Only Mezco would do such a thing. Ports back in, no problem. And yeah, there's not much else to say other than this is beautiful. All right, now we're coming down the home stretch. And when I opened up the little package, I noticed that there were accessories for his medium machine gun. So we have to go over these next. Yeah, and in the tiny package, I missed it, but we got a little handle that moves up and down on a track here. I'm not gonna fuck with it too much because big old stupid fingers. But yes, it moves. And also a suppressor was in there, so that can go on there. And uh, it makes it look really fucking awesome. So we get these little canister grenades here. They are fucking detailed and painted beautifully. And we also get this normal grenade here. It looks great. The green paint, the pin, everything looks awesome. Here's the radio up close. Yeah, and this thing's highly detailed too. Nice sculpting, lots of paint. They did a lot of wash for that real world effect all over it. And here we have his pistol and his gun holster. And this is meant to uh, clip onto the belt. So this goes on the right side and we'll take a look at the knife in a minute. Nice detail, everything is just always so nice. This comes right off. The pistol looks great. This thing does do the slide back. We got nice silver paint in there. Push that forward. Got a port for blast effects. I just love how these things look like they have wear all over them. Even the tiny magazine comes out and looks great. And they did give me an extra magazine for this as well, though. But holy cow, I think these guys make the best fucking guns in the business. And last up, he comes with this knife and sheath. Hey, Handle is painted brown with the black stripes. That's fucking amazing for being so tiny. Blades black with silver wear all over it. Man, the attention to detail is fucking nuts. Ports in, no problem. Boop. Does have a loop up here to hold the top with just this little tiny fucking pinch hanging out. I'll try and pop it out of there, but this is kind of scary and this is where I start to break stuff. So I think I'm gonna leave this alone until I get a tool to try and do this. All right, and with my tiny pincer tool, I got it to work very easily. That was not bad at all. And this also has the hook and loop for his side belt. And also, just look at all the light wear all over that. They even put it on the back when they didn't need to. That's fucking crazy. All right, now comes the part where I start loading this goof bag up with stuff and show you all the accessories on the figure. And here you go. The holster fits on the belt loop there. The knife fits there. And here he is with the helmet and he looks like a giant jackass in it. I am just not a fan of this helmet at all. Here he is with the shit eating grin head and I put the backpack on him. I think it looks really good. It really starts to just fix up this bland ass fucking shirt. But that is Duke. And here he is with one of the utility hands. It looks like it's made to hold the binoculars. That's fucking great. Holds them no problem. And you can also use the hand for the canteen works perfectly and you can just also store it on the backpack under that elastic i fucking love that and here he is with the other utility hand it's holding a grenade and we also got
got the screaming elves. I also have the screaming head on them. Also down here on the belt, the grenade store right there. So you could do either one fit, no problem. And here is the I stepped in some shit effect and I would be pissed off too if I stepped in some shit. No, but in all seriousness, this is fucking really cool. It fits under the foot really good and it is highly detailed, but it does look like he's stepping on a shit. Second pair of utility hands, you can see that they grip a little tighter and up here he can hold the radio and be screaming shit into it. It looks fucking great. Oh shit, and here's Duke with that fucking rocket launcher and this thing is fucking humongous. Look at this thing. And that's the trigger finger and one of the bigger utility hands. So that all works perfect. He can actually get the butt up against this fucking arm. And this bad boy also comes with a fucking crazy blast effect with the fucking slug up here, different colors down into the red. And yeah, this is just a fucking awesome weapon with a great accessory. And here he is with his machine gun and everything fits well, looks great. And how could I leave the action shovel out? And last up we have him with his pistol and this fits in his hands no problem, looks fucking great. Does have a port for ridiculous blast effects. Now nah, this is for the machine gun but I just threw it in here cause I forgot. And then we also get the smaller one with the bullet in it. He does come with the open hands. This one is almost like a karate chop hand. This one is more just kind of open. Open splayed hand and the fucking tiger claw hand. And last up, he comes with a left-handed pointer finger. Hand looks pretty good. Sculpting's all there. Everything looks good. And for size comparison, we have him with the Mezco snake eyes and the Mezco roadblock. And here we we have him with the Mezco Destro and the Mezco Firefly. And here he is with the Classified Duke and Classified Cobra Commander. And last up, we got him with the Action Force Pandora and Bone Collector. So at the end of the day, and my final thoughts on this figure are, I actually like him a hell of a lot more than I thought I would. By no means do I think this is a great figure. I do think there are a lot of Bobo issues going on with him. Him having no neck kind of sucks. That weird overlay that he came with was terrible and weird and didn't really make too much sense. But all in all, he does come with a lot of quality accessories. He does fit into the line just the way he's supposed to for a soft goods figure. So yeah, he might not be the greatest figure of all time, but I really dig him. I like the effort and I thank goodness that his head sculpt isn't as bad as it looked in the photos. And that's all I got this time, people. I'd like to thank you for stopping by. And I'll catch you on the next review. Holy fuck, that was diabolical. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Mega powers in the light, deadly blight, be the night. Raw dogs rally tight, bark with the street, my you true wrecking crew. Yo, yo, jerk in the fight, toy gangs disavowed, refuse cold as ice. Podcast kings, no jest, spitting truth from the crest. Hip hop nights, we quest, fans ride, never rest. Yo, yo, jerk, dropping bombs, critics get distressed. Toy gangs, flex, disavowed, savage and blessed. Mega powers start to blaze, raw dogs in the frame, barking wild, never strain. We tear down the gray, yo, yo, jerk, blaze the way, drop refuse all day. Toy gangs disavowed in the pain, they slay. Street tales, we recount, haters, we surmount. Raw dogs, how loud in numbers we count. Podcast, real talk, topics say it's down. Yo, yo, fight back. Reviews like the town, toy gang, straight facts, legends on the rack, disavow.